How's buddy? My name is Eric and today we're going to be doing some more of the Linux series. Now today we're going to work on the rice. Now I've already done a little bit of work on this. I've installed a compositor, PyCon, which ironically fixed the tearing issues I had in my cyberpunk video. I thought compositors were generally bad news for performance, and maybe they are for performance, but in terms of desktop smoothness, they seem to actually really improve things, which was unexpected for me. Okay, so one of the first things I'm going to do is I do have a background, fair bg-fill, and then we can use this picture, and it there we go. Now you can see the transparency effect I've had. So I'm going to add that to my X profile, which is what you use if you're using a window manager. If you're using or uh, a display manager, I mean, if you're using Snod X, you want to use X in it instead. Actually, I'm going to... Did I already do it? I'm going to make a folder called wallpapers and we're going to we're going to copy the lane into... Now we can... Now we can do that. That way, if we want to add more wallpapers, we can do that easily. I believe you can actually make it sort of random, but I haven't done that so far. Okay. So we can now... W. There we go. We've done that config. So I'll just quickly show my uh, PyCom config. Not that it's anything to be impressed by. It's pretty straightforward but i have set up a couple of opacity rules one thing i've not figured out so far is oh i almost just went right by it there we go is how to get bash top and sometimes it shows broken after you quit bash top that i've not figured out but the rest of these work i've also got uh kava which i will set up here now we want to remake this the master wrong button uh, alt enter makes a window a master and now we can carve that and now we could go find some music so i'm going to go to another tab and i'm going to open firefox i don't care about restoring my tabs and okay we need something that we're not going to get in trouble with so let's just go ncs and yeah that's a good one i i'm not i'm not an expert on ncs but okay just go most popular. Electronomia is good. So we'll turn the volume on that down a bit. There we go. Music visualizer. It works with my transparency. That's pretty nice. So let's get out of here. Now we can do a couple. We can go into, we can change the config for our suckless utilities. And something to note, I've already increased the suckless terminal font. You do that by going into here and then doing vim config.h. And you can actually, you can change your font size. And I changed it from the default to 18. So I'm going to, I should probably do that with the other one as well. Let's do that with dwn config.h. Now, in theory, you should probably understand the C programming language, but you don't really need to. Like, you can still, as long as you generally know how programming languages work, you can probably figure this out. You can choose a different layout. And here we can define our different options. So we can have tag keys, commands, D menu. Okay. So have D menu, zoom. I didn't, even, I didn't even know all of these, but some of these are pretty interesting. And you can set different layouts. Like there's a Fibonacci layout. That one I know because I've done that before, where you can turn a window into a floating window or you can turn it into a tiled window. So I'm more interested to see how we change settings for fonts. So it's got to be up to the top. And here, okay, here's our colors. Okay, fonts. Monospace, size 10. Okay, let's go for 18. Wait, do I need to pseudo that? I guess I need to pseudo that. 
Okay. Well, we can pseudo that then. Okay, so down here, and now we'll put 18 in both of these. Gives us a size of 18. And here are the colors. Color gray one, cyan. Okay, and that's that's this border color. Now I don't I don't really like that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change that. So we can go and find a HTML color picker. I'm a big fan of the color red. I always when I set my RGB, I always go for red. So I think we're gonna go for red. There we go. FF00. We're just gonna I'll just do it this way. A little janky. I'm okay with it. Just check that. Yeah, that's that looks good. We need one more zero. Okay. Now we do sudo make install. There we go. We just built DWM again. Now I'm just gonna see. Can we reload DWM config? I don't think that's gonna work because it's got. You have to compile. Okay. Okay. So there's no obvious way of doing it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop the recording and start again after killing my session. Okay. So here we go. We've got our NCS. Now we've got our red color. This is a bit big, but I think for now it will do. Now, what, another thing you can do is add a gap. I've never, I've never been a huge fan of gaps in tiling window managers, but this is pretty nice. So I've got my background, and I restarted, it and it loads in. That's cool. So the next thing I'm going to do is try and do something about this status bar. And there's a simple free tool from Suckless called SL Status. But by default, to me, that's pretty boring. It just tells me that it's 2 o'clock on the 13th of December. I've seen some people have these awesome ones with font awesome. So I'm going to look up and try and see how we go about doing that. Because that would look cool. Oh, I control seed the wrong window. Okay, so first of all, I assume we need to install font awesome, which we can do here. Yeah, uh, we don't need all of this crap. Don't know why it does that when you paste from a web browser. Okay, here we go. So now I have font awesome installed, so now we can... So I wonder what this, let's just try this, because that's just something from Reddit. Okay, it just, just does that. So that, uh, that didn't quite work as intended. So I'll, I'll do more research and then I'll, we'll be back. Okay, this looks like what we want. Okay, so I'm going to git clone this. Okay, and we can, we can still use the suckless folder, because technically it's not suckless, but it goes with the suckless stuff. Git clone. Okay. So now we can just follow the use guide. So we CD in, we go to build, and then we want to build it. So I think we already have everything we need for... I don't know what I'm doing with go, but I think this... Okay, so now we want to do go build. Okay. Well, what do they mean undefined? Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I'm stupid. I, I should have just, I should have read that. Okay, so we want, um, I am or LM underscore sensors. Let's try I am then. No? Okay. Maybe I should just. Of course, we can just Pac Man this. Okay, that one's already here. Okay. And then we also need a pulse mixer and BC. Okay. 
Go build. Undefined. Okay, so I can't get it to work. I can't get it to compile. I found a pre-built version, but that doesn't work. So I think we're going to move on. Okay. So I've installed uh, nerd fonts, which is a requirement. And now I can install DWM bar. And this is the one we're actually going to use. Because the other one turned out to be a bit of a mess. At least I couldn't, I couldn't get it working. Maybe... I, I've never, honestly never used Go before. So it could be completely on me. I don't want to say it's bad. Okay. So now let's try DWM bar. Okay. Ooh, that's thrown a lot of errors. Okay, that's because we have Pipewire. So I will have to change the config. But otherwise, that's pretty good. The time is correct. It's got my CPU temperature there. And I, I can't quite tell what that is. It's probably as well that the font awesome hasn't... Or the nerd fonts haven't loaded in yet. Let's just see. Is there... Uh, well, we don't... I don't really care about volume that much, so that's probably okay. I assume that's Wi-Fi. We don't we don't really need that. So Okay. So I'm going to kill this and then I'm going to So we can go DWM bar. Okay, that's... Have I typed that wrong? Okay, so to get the config, we have to go here, and then we copy that to DWM... Uh, okay, actually, we have to make that directory first. That's why we have a second terminal. Okay, and now we can go here. Never mind, I forgot to... forgot something. Okay. Okay, so which one do we want to get rid of? Uh, the weather we can keep. Uh, volume bar, we don't want. Wi-Fi, we don't want. I don't know what internet is, so we'll leave that for now. CPU load, CPU temp, date time, that's all good. Okay. Now we can try and run that again. Okay. But if we... Got rid of the volume. I kind of want to try and edit the default config, but I feel like that's a bad idea. Okay, so it seems like it initially behaves that way, and then at some point it throws out our config. Yeah, see, there we go. That's correct. Okay, so let's try... No, no, we don't need the approximate sign. Share, DWM bill. Like, okay, well, let's try that again. Okay. That seems to work. Now, I don't know what the internet one is doing, but there we go. So, I don't know why the local config didn't work. Maybe I did miss something, but I'm actually pretty happy with this. So, currently available default modules. Oh, so internet uh, shows whether internet is available to do. Okay, so we'll get rid of that one as well because that's useless given that I'm using a desktop and always have internet. Now I can go and see if any of those other ones are desirable. I'm actually really I'm pretty happy with this. I expect that there's... Were, okay, RAM. Let's do RAM. Let's see how much dedicated RAM we have. Okay. RAM. There we go. Oh, nice. And it shows it in a pretty good way. It shows 4.8 out of 128 available gigabytes of RAM. Okay. Mail, we don't have. Local IP, I don't really care about. That might be public IP. I definitely don't want that. Redshift, I actually might get that. Because I, I I didn't even know. I was thinking about how we could recreate f.lux on this and that. So I installed Redshift. Whether I'm okay with, as long as it's... That seems, looking out my window, well, it's not really sunny. Uh, yeah, plausible. I'll see if I think that's probably right or not. To do. Tor. Void updates. Uh, 
Okay, arch updates. I do have everything needed for that. So let's also do that. Well, that also probably requires an active internet connection, so let's do it that way. Control C. I'm going to start that again. There we go. I don't think arch updates is working, but I don't care that much about it. It's not really important. Temperature of the CPU, yeah, we definitely want that. We've got that. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, now I'm going to add that to my X profile. Actually, I forgot an and sign here, but it didn't break anything. Um, DWM doll and. Okay, there we go. So that's working pretty much, I'd say, perfectly. So, let's go back to Kava on this one. Clear this one. Let's put a Neo Fetch on here. Now, there is more that can be done. Like, I know it's possible to have a terminal color scheme. I, I don't... I'm sure that might be another one if we wanted to come more advanced into this, but I'm actually reasonably happy. So I'm going to I'm gonna reboot the machine and see if we can get our, our fonts working, and then we should be good. Okay, so we're back, and now everything's working. Now we can get our three terminals again, and now we can get the setup we wanted. So this one, I don't know. I'm just going to leave that blank. This can be a NeoFetch, and this can be Kava. Oh, oh, that pulse stupid thing. Okay, I was just... Okay. That's Kava. That's not so good. Now we can put this one on Firefox. Go on YouTube. And then we can pick something. We'll go for this one. This one's pretty good. Okay, so we got that going. And now here we go. We've we have officially, for worse for better, riced this system. Actually, let's get another terminal and let's bash top this. And unfortunately, I can't make transparency work on bash top. But there we go. I think that's pretty freaking cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is going to be a bit of a job to edit because I've got all these different, all these different things to um, put together, all these different pieces. But I'm, I'm okay with it because this was a fun video to do, and I, I'm really generally enjoying using the system. Oh, oh yeah, and the one you hover over gets a nice red border now. I really like that. Bye.